interesting course of, of, of how my path has happened since I uh, retired early from ESPN. Um, and when I first got out, I thought, you know, I have all this experience. I thought, okay, you know what, maybe I'll be just a baby Disney, a baby ESPN. And I realized that wrong idea. First of all, <laughs> your money's not long enough. <laughs> and to actually be there, it really is about, you know, all these great ideas, all these great institutions, all these great companies that we all point to, all had a point of, of, of a, it was a big bang for them. And a lot of it had to do with what was going on around them. And so for me to kind of be that new version of that was in reality kind of an impossibility because, you know, most of this had been done. And for me to, to kind of do it, the, the, the thing that always became, you know, back talking back to my lessons at SPSPN, you learn that the barrier of entry, especially in the media business, is so high. Now, today, with the consumer technology that has happened, a lot of those things, people will argue with you over and over again, a lot of those things have been blown apart. Well, the answer is yes, but it really is for small businesses. There's only a handful of people who started in this whole idea of being in a consumer business and just blew up. And when they blew up, they blew up by getting out of the small consumer business. I mean, Issa Rae, you take with her uh, deal that she did with HBO, she started her own thing by doing her own uh, show. There's plenty of stories with all the people on TikTok and, and Instagram and YouTube who got picked up. Well, they blew up and they blew up into the, 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 the big universe. So realizing that that wasn't going to happen after I spent too much money and I did the wrong thing. You're supposed to steal other people's money, not your own. Um, it, <laughs> okay. yeah, it, it, yeah. it came down to the simple fact of realizing, okay, well, let's stop this here. And I think I mentioned to you my early, you asked me about my early career. Well, I had a degree in film and tape television, and I never really used it because ESPN became all consuming and the greatest thing that could ever happen to me. So when I finally got past my idea of being Mickey too, I realized maybe I should just think a moment and, and what do I really do with this? Go back to what I really thought I was going to be in the beginning. And a lot of it, that process came out to realize I was doing a lot of things to make other people's dream come true. It was great. Mm -hmm. And as much as I was just kind of plowing through, I was plowing through to try to do fertile ground for other people to make things better. But it was always to try to further their dream. And I thought, OK, maybe this is something that I should learn. And that is what is my dream and how can I get back mm -hmm. to it? And it was a film business. And I was um, a little bit shocked at realizing I just decided to get back into film and uh, storytelling, which is what I was learn and as you mentioned about uh, the sports and ESPN that's one of our strengths storytellers so I learned to be a very good storyteller uh, sport is about what life is it's competition it is the winning and losing day in and day out in all facets of our lives and sport just does it very well in terms of people being able to relate to it so I thought okay well I'm a pretty good storyteller now I know how to do that let me figure out how to go back into the film business and try to do that and see what, what I get from it. I had written a lot of scripts over time, you know, playing around with it. And the other thing that became really interesting was that I realized I was about to become a neophyte in a business sense in a whole new space that I didn't think I knew a lot about. But as I began to sort of investigate it, uh, trade on past relationships with people who were actually in the film business, I realized it was really, a lot of it was just syntax. Uh, and what I mean by that is, if you are a good business person, if you learn good business skills over time, those skills are transferable. That's the reason you find so many different people mm -hmm. doing so many different things. I give Elon Musk a, mm -hmm. a lot of credit. People are asking, why is he in so many spaces? Well, he's just as a good, he's a good administrator and he understands business. And so he can take those mm -hmm. skills and move it across. Vis-a-vis -vis the skills that I knew in business, when I started talking to people about the film business, how the film business works, um, I realized that they were using terms like waterfall and all that meant was quite simply who gets paid first and when. So that helped a lot mm -hmm. of, of relaxing my, my worry about being an administrator. But I, what I really realized that, you know, this craft and skill of telling a story the way they would like you to tell it 
was where I needed to dig deep. And so that's what I've been spending the past three years. Um, they, uh, they, you know, they tell you, and this is where I try to dig deep and maybe obsessed with the idea of getting things right. You know, they tell you, if you're going to be a writer, if you're going to be a good writer, you should write or think about writing every day. And I would say for, out of the past three years, I've held up my end about 90% of my time. Um, that's not devoted to the family and other things are spent really trying to get myself ready and to be a good storyteller but in a structural way so that you kind of match up. So my ultimate dream is to have uh, the kind of success someday in the film and TV space that I've had in, uh, in sport.